Hey everybody, welcome back. So, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. And I can talk to y'all again. I got my Botox Friday. So, it just ain't very loud. But I'm making another bottle today. I've had a lot of orders for these over the weekend. So, we're making another one. And this lady got her own customizable saying. And of course, my software messed up on my raindrops. So, I do have a strip of raindrops here. Or water drops, whatever you want to call it. So, I'm going to be weeding this. I'm going to put you in time lapse while I weed this. So, you're not sitting through all the boring stuff. Some of y'all might think it's boring, but... I love what I do. So, stay tuned. So, stay tuned, and we're going to get right into this video. Okay, guys, so I've got my designs weeded. And these raindrops right here, like I said, they're messed up. I can show you. My, I made a few of these bottles, and for some reason, my machine went stupid yesterday. But you might not can see it, but it's got all these little cuts and indentures in it, so... What I'm going to do, I'm going to flip you down so you can see. And I'm just going to pick these raindrops off. Because like I said, I did cut some different ones by themselves. So if you ever mess up on something, don't freak out. Nothing's going to be perfect all the time. So you can just take the messed up part off. And it's real easy to line back up because when they cut, they leave like the design marks on them. So all you have to do is line up whatever you recut to the marks on the paper. So I will be layering this. And I will show you how I'm going to do that. Once you're in this stuff for a while, you learn some tips and tricks. Because when I first started seven years ago, I messed up some stuff. And instead of trying to fix it or whatever, I just threw it away and recut it. But now, being a business owner... You come to find ways to fix that without wasting all that vinyl and stuff. So, here's my new strip of the water drops. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut my transfer tape. Once I find my scissors, which I think is in my bedroom. I will be right back. Oh, hey, okay, Hayden. You will have to make me some peep stickers. I'm taking these on. I'm going to custom make it. I'm keeping these on, but. Okay, so. If you want me to do like videos on how to's or whatever, you can comment below and I will make videos of. Like how to do stuff when it comes to vinyl. Like I said, I've been doing this for like seven, eight years now. And if y'all wonder why I use a microfiber towel in my videos, I wipe my decals because you know there's dust, lint, and stuff all through your house. No matter how clean your house is, 
You will always get dust or something that wants to cling to these decals. So I wipe them off with a microfiber towel. Just to ensure that there's nothing under there. Because if not, it will stick. And people does not want your lint and dirt on their decals. I don't even So, you can do this one of two ways. You can lay this on here like this. Or, you can put your transfer tape on here and then... You can, well, you can put this on here first and get all that stuck. Or you can lay your new design down and then put the transfer tape on and then you'll have to take this paper off. We're going to try it like this. We're just going to lay it here. And if you want to, if it helps, you could trim it as small as you want to so you can see how it's going to lay so it don't look odd. So I'm going to lay mine like that. And you want to make sure they're straight. You don't want crooked raindrops or water drops. That looks straight to me. And then you're just going to well back and not work. If that happens, no big deal. We're just going to do it the other way. So you will just lay your transfer tape on here. And then yeah. it's my Squeegee over there. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, so I'm just all out of whack today. You can tell it's Monday. So then you want to just put your transfer tape on here. So then what I will do is I will peel this back off. Because I didn't put enough pressure on there, so we're just going to do this thing like this, and then we're going to re do our water drops again. <clears throat> Then once you're happy with how they look, just take your squeegee and run over it. And you want to make sure you put enough pressure on there because if not, that will not stick to your transfer tape. So then what I will do is I will peel this off. I hate this brand transfer tape. This is why I quit using this, but I figured since I had a whole big roll that I could use it because I quit putting it on decals that people order because they were having problems getting the decals off. So, when you got a problem, you would just all you gotta do is get a corner stuck and then you could just hold them down. No big deal. But you don't want your customers having to do all of this. So. You want to make sure you're using a good. And of course, it worked my end.
So as you can see, this transfer tape is garbage. Hence the reason why I bought some different transfer tape and no longer use this junk. So, like I said, you got the shadows of the stuff, so you would just lay it right there. No big deal. So then when you're trying to get this off of this junk transfer tape, you will just slowly peel it and the letters will stick. And my seven come off right in my hand. <laughs> so we will just stick it back on there. And then you just move along. this come from my eye. instead of me using this y'all I might have just throw this junk in the trash I won't come off from somewhere right there. <laughs> yeah y'all might have seen me just rage and throw this in the garbage this is ridiculous. Y'all, this stuff is making me mad. It all comes out on my hand. Oh my lord. Uh, so, I have an 
nah. That I have no clue where it come from. Is that an S? There ain't no S on here. Oh, it come off my... Yeah, y'all really about to see me rage. Mm. So once you have your stuff off before I throw it in the garbage, you just make sure your bottle's clean. And then you want to I stand up because it's easier. So that you can make sure you have it on there. So then you just want to put that on there. Okay. Open the door. Then you just want to make sure you put your letters on there to where they're not wrinkled. But once they're stuck, they're stuck. So. Then you just peel the transfer tape. And then sometimes you'll have little wrinkles, but they're easily just, you just smooth them out with your fingers. And then we will do the other side. And I'm throwing this other drunk in the trash when I'm done with this video. Because it is garbage. So just because you're getting transfer tape cheaper, you think it's a better deal? Not always the truth. 
get what you pay for. So if you're buying cheap materials, you're going to have cheap results. And that is not what you want when you're doing stuff like this because you do not want your customers having to fight with their decal to get it off. That is for sure. And this definitely does not want to cooperate with me today. You've got to be kidding me. Yes, this stuff is definitely going in the trash, you guys. Because I'm not happy. That is ridiculous. So. We're going to try this again.
So I recommend you not to buy the cheapest transfer tape you can. Which this stuff wasn't that cheap. It was like $20 a roll. And it is junk. As you can see. Are you serious? And my M is not going to come off, so that is just great. So we're going to work around that. Okay, guys, so here's the water bottle that I about choked out the window. So it says, I'm amazing, I own it, I can do it. And then the other side is just the times with the refill and stuff. So that is how I make the bottles. But this woman wanted this decal way too big. So that's why it is so big. So now, I'm going to show you how I package stuff. So I will cut my chicken label. So I do buy my own shipping labels. I'm going to go grab my box, my thank you stickers, my bubble wrap, my packaging tape, and my business card. And I will be back and we will package this for shipping. Okay, guys. So I got my packaging slip. So I always write thank you for your business on here. And then I will take the bottle.
but I will wrap it in bubble wrap. And then I will tape it. want to wrap it so that it doesn't get damaged and stuff like that. Right here. So thank you for supporting my small business. And then we'll close that up. And then we will take it. I will put my shipping label on the top. So that's my video for today. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you want anything made, comment below. Reach out to me on social media. I have Instagram. TikTok, I had a brain fart. It's been a long day. So, I am making these bottles. I had the green, which I'm out of at the moment. I have to find more because I have people wanting them. But I also have the blue and gray. I think the blue ones are prettier, but each to their own, right? So, like I said, that's it for today. Like, share, comment. Don't forget to subscribe. And you can follow me on Instagram, TikTok. I will leave those in the description below. As well as my business email. So, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Thanks for your support. And I'll see you next time.